So I am completely out of groceries right now, and I've only been here for one week. The only thing that I have right now enough stock of is two of these pancake syrups of the Walden Farms, and believe it or not, I've gone this whole entire cut, whatever, it's been like 18 or 19 weeks, without the syrup. I just, I guess I haven't been eating waffles, pancakes, anything like that, so this is so good coming back to it. Back in Pennsylvania, I was always doing my, most of the time I was doing my grocery shopping at Walmart, which not the greatest selection. I was going there because it was so convenient. There's one right across from my house and I was so busy. I was really wrapped up into things that I just wanted convenience, you know, something cheap. So there was a place like right across the other side of town. It was like 15 minutes away, but they had the greatest cereal selection. Really good meats, good variety, but I just never took the time to go. If you know I wasn't so busy, I would have been doing that. But now that I'm here in Texas, I want to take the time to get you know quality and variety. So supposedly the place around here is H E B. I've been there before, but I haven't done a grocery haul or anything. So you know when I first got down here the first day, I just needed something quick. I went to Walmart. It was actually a pretty nice Walmart, and what I found with different WalMarts is you know some are kind of dumpy and some are actually pretty nice, but Gonna start going to HEB and then there's also another distributor that sells like bulk meats that I'm gonna start getting that. So today I'll show you guys my trip to HEB and what I'm getting. <laughs> Cannot find my no fat cheese anywhere. Already in love with this place. They have everything and their samples all over the place sushi sausage chicken Like people and cooks like telling you how they make it and stuff. I am loving this the Hardest part about grocery shopping is deciding between all of these which cereal to actually get Never tried the Arctic Zero before, but I'm gonna give it a try. The cookies and cream, I think it is. So we're gonna see how it is. It's only like 150 calories per pint. Wow, so that was actually an awesome experience. I was expecting it to be really good, but I didn't think it'd be that good. There were samples all over the place and just so much variety and different things you could get. It was absolutely packed at that time. It was probably, probably wasn't the best time to film, but you know, there was just so much going on. It was a really cool place that I just loved it. But a few notable things that I got that I usually don't get, I got went with some new low carb tortillas, La Tortilla Factory. I don't know, I've never heard of this brand. Maybe it's mostly in Texas. For some beer, I went with some Shiner Bock, the Ram IPA. I usually just drink the regular Shiner, but gonna give this one a try, I like IPAs. And then usually I'm mostly just all chicken and stuff like that but went with some pork. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna to show you guys where I'm gonna buy my bulk chicken. But tonight, it's my mom's last night here, so we're gonna go out to eat, so I'll show you guys where we're going. Someone's happy. Set. Now, I can't believe I forgot to mention my Arctic Zero ice cream. I've never tried it. I tried it once, actually, and it was a couple years ago. I forgot all about it, but it was like freezer burn, so it wasn't that good. Gonna give this a try before dinner. 150 calories for the whole thing, so we'll see how it tastes. That's really good. Definitely gonna get at least one of these for now. Exhausted Leroy. Everything's closed right now, so I was looking on Yelp and I got down to like the 20th ranked place on the list around here and there's some place called Saigon, which is like Vietnamese or Thai, so we're gonna check that out. It looks like you can still eat pretty clean, so I'll show you guys what I'm getting. Don't judge a book by its cover. Not sure if I should go Vietnamese or Malaysian. No clue what either of those two types of foods are like. So I might just have to play it safe. And your mom chicken. Thank you. Steam rice. And I'll Thanks. be back with some water. This is called mala chicken. It's got like mango in it and vegetables. And then general sales over here. It's actually looking really good. Best part about the meal. That meal was surprisingly pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. They gave you big helpings, you know, pretty clean still. Got white rice on the side, so no fat there. 
The sauce I wasn't sure about, and the chicken was pretty good, so it wasn't fried or anything. Relatively lean, but I'm exhausted right now. I'm going to hit the sack. I'm taking my mom to the Austin airport in the morning, so I'll continue this vlog into tomorrow. So really excited guys, just got off the phone with our realtor and we're moving this process pretty fast. Hopefully we know where we're gonna be by the end of this month or by the end of next month. So, you know, we really wanna move a lot faster, know where we're gonna be, so by the time we open the gym in February or March, you know, everything's gonna be ready to go. We wanna be in there and get everything ready, everything looking good, so really excited though. The next couple of weeks I'm gonna go out with him. You know, he's already done some research, we're gonna do our research find the best possible place you know, for you guys to come and visit the gym. And it's just really exciting. I don't know if I'm gonna film the process of going into different locations and looking at it, but definitely the end result we're gonna show you guys. I'm just really excited right now. But today I have a push workout, chest, shoulders, triceps, back on that legs push pull routine. So I'll show you guys a few clips of this workout. Now I think I told you guys earlier in the video that I was gonna show you where I get my 40 chicken breasts for $40. So chicken breast, $1 each. It's like some food distributor my brother was telling me about, but my freezer is completely full. So I wanna give Shipley's Donuts a try. I've been dying to try it. I've heard a lot of good things. So let's go get some donuts. Never mind, it is closed. New shakers about to be released, guys. They're like the half size compared to our regular ones. Excited to start releasing new and different products, especially once my brother comes back. But you guys are probably wondering if I'm still doing my cut, and the answer is yes. Weighed myself this morning, I was like 196. So I'm still losing weight after all these meals I'm posting on Instagram, you know, in my vlogs, all this Mexican barbecue. But it's all about, you know, estimating macros. But I'm gonna continue it. I'm probably not gonna try to lose any weight, stay around 195, 196. I feel great at that weight and I feel like I look my best, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to start filming again tomorrow. Since Shipley's was closed, maybe I'll start my next vlog going there, but I'll see you guys next time.